Okay, so um, the purpose of this video today is to show you how to create a border for your artwork. So anytime you're creating um, a new piece of art um, that's not necessarily in your sketchbook, um, you can also do this with your sketchbook assignments as well though, um, you're going to create a half inch border all the way around your um, your artwork. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, the main reason is that when you are posting, when you're taking a picture um, for Artsonia or you are um, wanting to take a picture for um, yourself, you want to be able to crop out any of the rough edges or you want to make sure that you're not getting like the table if you take a picture and you have a little bit of the table. Um, those lines will give you a, a, an exact place to crop to. Um, so it makes your artwork look so much better. So I'm going to show you how to create that today. Um, and all you need is um, a piece of your drawing paper. This can be drawing paper, 9 by 12, 12 by 18, whatever size you have, or just a regular sheet of um, white computer paper, which is what I have here. Um, and you're going to need a ruler and a pencil, okay? Now, uh, we're going to be using the inch mark the um, inch side of the ruler so make sure that you are paying attention to that because it's very easy to get mistaken and, and, and use the centimeters and we don't want to do that because then they may not turn out the same. So what you want to do is you want to and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you guys can see this really well. Okay so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're using the half inch or the inch side of your ruler and you'll notice here that I have a little bit of a lip Okay, you can see right here, there's a little bit of an extra part that kind of sticks over where the lines actually start. You don't want to measure, and if, yours, if your ruler has that, make sure that you're not measuring from the edge of the ruler because then you're actually going to be wrong. You want to make sure that you start with where those lines are. So I'm going to lay my ruler down on my paper, and you'll see that right here, this line that's sticking up right here, that's my half inch mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to put a little mark there to show me that's where the half inch mark on this side is. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'll move my ruler down and we're just going to create two lines to help us create, um, to connect, to create that line for the border. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to mark the half inch mark right there. Okay. It's a little bit off. Um, and now all you have to do is just lay your ruler down and you want to get up over your ruler so you make sure, and I like to turn it sideways too, so I can just see, make sure it's right on those lines um, and you have it nice and straight, okay? You can also, if you want to, slide your ruler so that it's even with the edge of the paper. Um, that kind of helps you to make sure that you have it nice and straight too. But you put those tick marks there so that should help you to keep it straight. Now, the key is hold that ruler firmly in place, okay? And when you draw your line, then you have a nice straight line. Now, you can see here that mine is just a little bit over where I put my dot or my tick mark, um, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect as long as it's really, really close, okay? And now you're going to just do the same thing on um, the other sides, okay? So we're going to mark a tick mark there at the half inch mark and again notice that I'm lining it up with the half inch mark and then I'm just marking at the first. You can also flip it around to do the other way. Um, I just like to, I don't like to read mine upside down but if you're good at reading upside down you go for it. Um, and then same thing you're going to lay your ruler down, line those tick marks up, okay and remember you want to keep your ruler straight because if you don't if you're not holding it down, it's very easy to let that slide. Okay, now mine has a sticky stuff on the back, so mine doesn't really slide. I was hoping it would slide and I would show you, but it's sticky, so it doesn't. <clears throat> but be sure that you're holding yours down. Okay, and then now I'm halfway there, so I'm just going to continue this all the way around. And I'm going to pause and just um, so that you don't have to watch me do that. Okay, so now you can see I have a nice border all the way around and then I'm going to create my artwork within this picture plane so that my picture plane is nicely in the center of my page. And when I go to take a picture, um, and I'll show you this, when I go to take a picture, I can crop it so that 
um, I only get the edges. Now this is not going to be a very good picture, but I just want to show you guys that I can crop out the table. Okay, so I have my picture and I'm going to pull it here so hopefully you can see this. Okay, so if you can see right here, you can you can see that I have taken the picture and now when I crop it, when I go to um, edit it, I'm going to crop Go okay, to adjustments, crop, and now I can line my picture up. And let me turn my let me turn my um, brightness up a little bit. Okay, and now I can line my picture up right on those lines, hopefully, and you'll be able to see now when I crop it, I have just my picture and you can see I actually have a little bit of a line over here on this side but I can go back and crop it so that just makes it a really neat way to um, get just your artwork um, hopefully that's helpful this is a requirement for anything that you turn in um, I'm not going to be able to tell but I, but if I can see the edges of your table or the wall or whatever you're taking that's going to be a good indication that you didn't do what you were supposed to do so please do follow directions make sure you give yourself a border it makes your art world look complete and um, it adds to your craftsmanship. Thank you very much.